name is Dr. Juwad. In this video, I'm going to answer a question, and that was, how do I increase my dopamine levels naturally? I get a lot of emails on my YouTube page. I talk with a lot of patients who are just not motivated. They lack the drive. They're tired all the time, low libido. They're addicts. They just want to find some, somehow, some way to increase these, this, this motivational molecule naturally. But before I do so, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and next to it, the bell notification. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. I always appreciate a growing audience. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button and share with a friend. I appreciate it. So let's back things up a little bit. Let's first start off, what is dopamine? We have two types of hormones or neurotransmitters, depending on how you want to intertwine them. We have dopamine. Dopamine is like the gas. Dopamine is like the motivation. Dopamine is what gives you the drive. And then you have serotonin. Serotonin ah, it makes you calm down. Serotonin, most of it's produced in the gut. Okay, a little bit is produced in the brain. However, with dopamine, dopamine gives you a lot of that drive and motivation. And if you lack dopamine, okay, the symptoms of low dopamine levels are lack of drive and motivation. You're just not motivated to do anything. You're depressed all the time. Your impulsiveness, okay? You're just looking for that something to do to, to make you feel better. You have mental and physical fatigue. You're just burned out all the time. Sugar and carb cravings, because you're fatigued, you just want to find something that's going to bring you up. Low sex drive, libido, restless leg syndrome, and you may have some Parkinsonian tremors too as well. Those are all symptoms of low dopamine levels. Now, one of the reasons why you want to boost it up, okay, the benefits. It reduces the cravings and the risk of relapsing into bad habits. Why? It's your motivation. It's the drive. It increases your motivation and drive. That's why you want to increase it. It alleviates, again, the fo your focus, your motivation, concentration, libido, and mood. So these are all the benefits of increasing the, the dopamine. Now, let's go into the brain. Let's figure out how it's made. Now, dopamine, first and foremost, is broken down. Okay, how do you get it? You need the amino acid L-phenylalanine, okay? And that comes from foods. That gets broken down to L-tyrosine, another amino acid, which, with the help of vitamin B6 or P5P, which is the... Uh, broken down version of B6, that gets converted to L-DOPA, okay? Now, the thing is, you have L-tyrosine and L-DOPA, and that step is a rate-limiting step, which basically means, okay, well, so if I'm low in uh, dopamine, I'll just load up on L-tyrosine. No, your body doesn't really work that way. Your body says, okay, I'm only going to give you what you need, and I'll excrete out the rest, and that's what's called the rate-limiting step. However, you need B6, or I just recommend P5P. That's the broken down version of B6. If you have some type of uh, disruption in the, in the absorption of B6, so then you get L-DOPA. Then it goes to dopamine. L-dopamine, with the help of vitamin C, gets converted to norepinephrine. These are part of the adrenaline hormones. Norepinephrine gets converted to epinephrine. This is the adrenaline response. Okay, this is what gives you your drive the motivation, that want. So you have vitamin C, which helps break down the dopamine to norepinephrine, and then you have SAMe and cortisol, which helps convert norepinephrine to, epine to epinephrine, which again, gives you that motivation, gives you that drive, gives you that adrenaline, which basically gives you that give and go. So what causes you to have low, low uh, dopamine levels? Because these are part of the adrenal hormones, you may have, if you have adrenal fatigue, you may be burned out on dopamine. Vitamin B6 deficiency, you're not absorbing B6. And if you don't absorb B6, then you're not converting all this to usable dopamine. Low stomach acid, why is that important? Because L-phenylalanine is an amino acid, and you get that from food, and if you have low stomach acid, you're not breaking down the food constituents properly for absorption to produce these chemicals. Okay, you may be just low in L-tyrosine. You may be low in L-phenylalanine deficiency. You may be low in magnesium, zinc, iron, vitamin C, vitamin D. These are all needed for proper 
absorption and proper formation of L-dopa. I'm sorry, dopamine. You may have a leaky gut. Remember, everything starts in the gut. If you have poor digestion, you're not breaking down these food products properly to absorb, to make all these hormones, whether it be dopamine, whether it be serotonin. It all starts in the gut. Hypoglycemia, okay? So what do you do? What do you do? How do you, how do you build up the, uh, your dopamine levels naturally? First and foremost, I always recommend food. You want to clean up the diet, get rid of the processed food, get rid of the sugar, the wheat, the gluten, all the soy, all that, all that stuff that will insult your stomach. Okay? So then foods, raw chocolate. Okay? Cacao. It's rich in magnesium, zinc, and chromium. Chromium is good to help stabilize blood sugar. Blueberries, rich in antioxidants. Remember, you want to you want to decrease the systemic inflammation so your stomach works appropriately. Blueberries are rich in antioxidants. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are phenomenal in selenium. Selenium, selenium is good for the thyroid. One of the things that helps with the thyroid hormone is L-tyrosine. Okay. Almonds, rich in L-tyrosine. Walnuts, rich in omega threes. Grass, Grass-fed meats, whether it be fish, chicken, steak, grass-fed, okay, broken down to the basic form, amino acids, L-phenylalanine, L-tyrosine, gets converted to L-dopa, dopamine from the food. Cruciferous vegetables, okay, rich in sulfur compounds, B vitamins, and antioxidants, phenomenal for the gut health. You need this stuff to produce dopamine. And also, when you clean up your diet, you're gonna feel better anyways. So what supplements? I always recommend supplements as well. You can take L-tyrosine. Tyrosine, take anywhere from 500 milligrams to 2,500 milligrams on an empty stomach. Vitamin B6, or the broken down version, P5P, which I always recommend. You wanna take 100 milligrams twice a day. Rhodiola, it's phenomenal to help stabilize the adrenals and also to help with the brain. 100 to 200 milligrams twice a day. DL-phenylalanine, one to two grams in an empty stomach. Okay, then the amino acids, you always want to take those in an empty stomach. But the most important thing besides cleaning up the diet to help boost your dopamine levels naturally is exercise. I've never, I've been exercising and working out for 30 years. I've never in my wildest dreams ever come across anybody who's depressed, who exercises regularly and has a good diet. Exercising regularly will help increase endorphins and also to make you feel better. So definitely exercise, whether it be taking a walk or going to the gym or doing whatever. You need to exercise, build your body. So I hope this helps. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And if you find this information valuable and if you want to schedule me for a consultation, please follow the link down below. Schedule me for a 15-minute consultation. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be good.